So this morning I'm on a little bit of a road trip and I'm headed to Ohio to the Becker vacuum pump factory. Um, tomorrow there's a class going over um, how to rebuild them, um, that type of thing, because I just became a dealer for Becker vacuum pumps. So we've got more vacuum pumps now that we carry, um, better price point, and they make a ton of vacuum. So let's go check it out. <laughs> headed now to the Becker office so that we can get this stuff going and I can learn about these vacuum pumps because I think they're gonna be pretty awesome. So I'm here with Mike at Becker and Mike's gonna kind of go over everything that you guys have to offer for vacuum pumps that kind of fit the maple line because you guys do everything from industry all the way to maple to hospitals everything so this is kind of a specific line that goes with the maple guys. Yes true so what we've done is basically take the deeper vacuum so the rotary vane lubricated pumps that pull down to 29 inches of mercury. But what we do is we modify it a bit so that it can handle more moisture than most lubricated pumps can in the industry. So um, basically over here on, on the floor, we kind of have our pumps set up. So we can go from 300 taps up to 43,000 taps. And that's just one individual pump. So if we need to go higher or more, we can connect our pumps in parallel with each other so that you can produce more CFM by maintaining the same vacuum level. So kind of what's unique about what we provide is that we've listened to all the pain points from producers, um, developed the product specifically for the maple line, and we make sure that when we ship something, it is pre-done. So the customer just has to plumb the vacuum connections and the electrical connections. Every, everything in between is already done from the factory here. So we will pre-program all the frequency drives. We pre-test everything, make sure that there's no leaks, make sure the functionality is there. Um, we have some additional features on the pumps that are specific for the Maple line itself. So um, yeah, I think we're pretty geared for this specific market. And um, I, I welcome anyone to, to reach out at any point with any questions, not just pump related. If you have any questions at all, we're always here, um, so yeah. Now you guys have dry vein pumps as well as oil flooded pumps with that, but the Maple is primarily using the, the oil flooded pumps, right? Yeah, just because with dry vein pumps, the, the technology is limited on vacuum level. So we can go down to about 27 inches with the dry vein pump, 
and it's a little bit um, more sensitive to moisture intake. Um, we also do have a, a claw line as well, which can or cannot be used in, in maple. It's, it's really just a preference. So I would say if that you maintain your woods, keep your lines tight, go with the lubricated pump because you're gonna increase your yield by going to 29 inches. Um, if maybe that's not an area that's attainable, you can't keep everything tight, then a dry vein pump makes sense in, in that sense. But uh, we really try and drive the lubricated line. It makes more sense for, for everybody. Um, we have no issue handling moisture coming into the pumps. They, they, we have a technology to remove that. I mean, we broke one, two down today actually, and these things are easy to work on if you've got to get in, change veins. There's, there's not a lot to them that they're fairly user friendly yeah. to get in if you have to. Yeah, basic. We, we want to keep them as basic as possible and give a sense of ownership to the, the person that's working on it. So, yeah. That they look pretty good. So what, what it's doing is measuring the resistance of each of the three phases. So if any of the, the windings internally are out, out of phase or out of balance, this number would be much higher or lower compared. But since they're all pretty much 2.3 ohms, it, they're equal, then internally the windings are, are they're okay. So that is just the, re, the internal resistance. Uh, like a, um, this is some of the heat pump here. Um, we have a couple other variants, different models in the environment where the oil will get contaminated and there will be a lot of buildup um, once we break this. Pretty much a stop coming. We'll point out yeah. the cooling yeah. duct. Um, it's not to say that the fan would. Hmm. Perks of a new pump. <laughs> okay, so they went. system everything's wired here the drives are programmed by us here as well so we've done all the functionality for the way it, it should run essentially when we do that we test every pump as well we don't just program it and ship it it is tested so that means it will ship with oil in it but it's going to come with more every time Okay, so we have the drive program to feed back the vacuum from the transducer here. Um, it's going to be visually on the screen. The screen reference is bar. So in the guides, we have uh, crossover for that. It's enable on off and on. right now and it's idling at 30 hertz. So we're gonna simulate demand. So now there's an increased demand so the pump's going to speed up to try and compensate. So we're about 24 inches of mercury right now here. But you can tell it's running at pretty much 60 hertz. As the demand decreases, it will just ramp back up. All right, so I'm feeding back from here. We still install a liquid gauge. I, I like that visibility to have in front of your face all the time. But yeah, it's just gonna do that. This hand mode here, this is in case something happens to the transducer circuit, you can then just physically use the drive buttons to tell it where you want it to run. So you, you can go lower than 30 on the screen, but it won't blow. It just stays there. That's essentially it. So most of it's done here. We'll pre-wire, pre-land everything. So when you receive it, you just wire your main power in and you hook up your vacuum connection. That's really all you have to do. The internal anti-suck back valve or check valve that's in the pump, then the butterfly valve. The rest is just the, the normal plumbing for that gauge. The filter, it's polyester. If it does get contaminated with water, sugar, whatever, you can wash it. Just make sure it's dry before you put it back in, but you continually wash those ones. Um, it's not meant to be a moisture trap. It's more of a policing filter to really stop slugs from coming in. If there's a thaw or something, it shoots in there. 
you don't want it getting in the pump, it will lock it up. So we try and protect it here on, the, on that side. Yeah. Pretty simple. Laurel's here with me now, and you're one of the engineers here at Becker. And she's gonna go over, if you order a pump and you order it with everything, this is what you're gonna get as part of the kit. Yeah, so the full system comes with the pump, obviously. The enlarged gas ballast is pre-installed here. We have our nice plumbing buildup with the filter, the policing filter. Now that gas ballast, that's to help reduce the vapor, the, the moisture vapor in the oil. So by upsizing that, it's gonna get rid of that moisture Correct. more freely which is gonna prolong the life of the oil and the pump. Yep, yeah, it allows a little extra air in there to keep the water from condensing up in the, in the pump. So it extends your oil life. Yep. Um, yeah, so you have your filter with the polyester element. That's to catch big slugs of water before they get into the pump. If it gets past your moisture trap for some reason, just a last ditch bit of protection there. And that's that one's washable, right? So Correct. you can reuse it. If it fills, those are gonna fill up with sugar. You can just wash that out at the end of the season, mid season on a freeze up dry it out, you're back in business. So that's a, you don't have to buy one of those every year. Yep, just make sure it's dry before you put it back in. <laughs> uh, you'll also get a vacuum gauge, liquid vacuum gauge at the pump, as well as the vacuum transducer. This is measuring the vacuum level and relaying a signal back to the frequency drive here. So every system comes with the frequency drive that's pre-programmed and pre-wired up. We've got the pump motor wired up here, as well as our switch box. The uh, switch box has an off and on, turns the pump off and on, as well as a hand mode and an automatic mode. So hand mode is just setting the frequency manually, automatic, it's going to adjust the speed of the pump based on the vacuum level that it's reading. Now, finding micro leaks is easier with these because you're going to see on the hertz or the bar mm -hmm. inches, they just measure a little bit different on the, yeah. the drives, to where if the hertz are up a little bit, you're going to know you've got leaks in the woods. So this is going to save you time because your gauge is still going to show the 29 inches, yep. but the hertz will be up so you know you've got an issue. So it, looking at that is more important than really that gauge. The gauge, yeah, absolutely. Um, and then finally it comes with a gallon of oil. The pump is pre-filled with oil as well, so this is just extra if you need it in the middle of the season or if you're doing maintenance, you've got a gallon already ready to go. All right, and typically these are going a season on one one oil. You're not having to change oil mid-season, just usually, usually yeah. at the end of the season, put new oil in it, put it away with the fresh oil, yep. change the filter, and they're ready to go. Yeah. They're, they're, these pumps are stupid simple. They, I don't know why everyone's not using them. <laughs> So now I'm in a mad dash to get home because I've got a plane to catch here in a couple hours. So I got to leave the factory, but these pumps are amazing. I mean, simple to work on, simple to break down. If there's an issue, we took apart two pumps today. Um, one had an oil leak and one was just to show us, but easy to work on, user friendly. Um, the things that these pumps can do with their drives, with the moisture, these pumps are awesome. They're going to be a game changer for the maple industry. That's for sure. So um, we, I didn't tell anyone, but we are now a dealer for Becker pumps. So if you're looking for a new vacuum pump um, for the maple industry, we can definitely help you. Um, we cover Maine. We've got these pumps now. Um, reach out, small guys, go into three-phase pumps the high vacuum, you're going to see a return and these things will pay for themselves in one, or, one to two years. It's definitely worth going to three phase high vacuum.